Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Michelle and the cookbook that we're going to be in today is the same cookbook we were in in the last video from Moist Chocolate Cake and the reason we're back in it again is because we made two separate videos out of this one day. They were supposed to be a full meal that all goes together so two dishes and then a dessert which was the cake. The recipe book is called The Best of Country Cooking in 1999, and it was copyrighted in 1999 by Riemann Publications. So I will link in the description box the moist chocolate cake that we had with this meal that I'm going to show you in, or tell you about in a second. We're going to make the recipe on page 175, two recipes, not one, sorry, honey Dijon pork and scallop potatoes. So... Without further ado, let's get at the recipe today. Okay, folks, you may hear my oven beep in a moment. That's because I'm preheating it to 350. Now, I am about to start making a roux. We are doing, I don't know if you can see this here, scallop potatoes. In this sprayed dish, I have cut two medium potatoes into slices. But the first thing I have to do here is make a roux. So I have two tablespoons of margarine and then on top of that two tablespoons of flour equal parts. So we'll get that melting. Then I'm going to add one one and a quarter cups of milk. And with that, I am going to put them on there. According to the recipe, it says, I've already got butter in there. Add my garlic. Which I have crushed. So we'll stir that in there. That's lovely. Basically a good pinch of salt. Just going to give that a little stir. Don't really want to sit that dish completely on there even though it would stand a little bit of it. So I'm going to adjust the camera. Take this. Now I'm going to pour this just all over it. that quarter cup of cheese could be a little more could be a little it's it's not less but that's a plenty of cheese to lay onion slices I'm gonna kind of separate the slices a little bit double check the recipe. So now this is ready to go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes covered and then we uncover it and cook it for the same amount of time. So stay tuned and we'll go to the second part because there's another dish to be made. Okay so this is the second part of it. All right so in this enameled cast iron skillet I have one ham steak. Okay, that's what we have. That's what we're using. The recipe in the book actually calls for two boneless pork loin chops, a half inch thick. This ham steak is a half inch thick. It's plenty of meat for Michelle and I. So it's pork, so it won't need a lot of salt, but it does say sprinkle a little salt and a little pepper. So I'm just going to use this. That's a plenty of pepper. Michelle is not as big a fan of pepper as I am. Now I'm going to just move it, this over there. So in this bowl, I am going to whisk 
together. Got a little bit of flour here. It's a tablespoon of flour. And then I have a quarter cup of orange juice. And it says to whisk that together until it's smooth. I never even mentioned when I was doing the scallop potatoes. We diverged a little bit from the method that the book, the recipe said, but it is Michelle's experience that I'm counting on. And she said, if I just did the flour and the milk, I would have had big lumps to deal with. So there's that, the, the um, flour and the orange juice. Now I have half a cup of orange, honey, orange, honey that's going in there. Half a cup of that. A tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And a teaspoon of basil, basil. To right. whisk that all together. That came together very nicely. Keep whisking this. Put that over there. And then just pour this all over. Ooh, that's a lovely bunch. Now, Michelle. I cut these, and these are not exactly the way Michelle wanted them. It's not, but you know how hard it is to cook carrots. Also calls for, it's about a quarter cup or a quarter of a red pepper and a green pepper. It is colorful. And it said, yeah, to chunk them about like that. The, another quarter cup of orange juice. So a half cup of orange juice total. And then my onions. It just said to cut the onions into eighths. But I'm gonna separate them a bit. Good enough. This and the potato scallop are meant to be eaten together. So this is going in the oven at the same time as the potato scallop. So when it's all done, we will show you. So stay tuned for that. Okay, folks, there it is. That's the scallop potatoes. That is our ham steak in there. Green and red peppers, carrots, and onions. Okay, everybody, let's talk about these recipes today. So first of all, with the scalloped potatoes, as Kevin said, I did want the recipe changed up a little bit because it said just mix the milk and the flour together and whisk it and then put it on. And I didn't think that was a good idea. I made a roux instead. Then it would just be a smooth consistency from the start. It could have had salt. It, it had just a pinch. I would have added more salt. I wanted to add I would have added pepper as well. I thought they were really good. And as for the pork dish, that was spectacular. That flavor was so delicious. I couldn't get over how good it was. And I mean, kind of knew that going in. You're mixing honey mustard together on pork. It was really delicious. I can't wait to try it on pork chops because it was just so good on the ham. Ham is what we had, so that's what we used. Definitely the issues that we ran into, which I knew going in to these recipes, was the cook time temperature. Now, it said 350, and I knew that wasn't going to be enough for either dish, but we just stuck it at 350, and I think it took like an hour and 10 minutes for us to be 
to a place where we thought we could deal with the consistency of the carrots. I knew that was going to be an issue. And the reason that Kevin said that he didn't cut them the way I wanted is because I didn't get a chance to look at what he was doing. I would have cut the carrots a lot thinner so that they would have had an easier time cooking because you know that carrots take such a long time to cook. So that was literally the only issue. The peppers and the onions were perfection. And I absolutely, we both cleaned the whole thing. We loved this dish. That sauce is amazing. It would be good on all kinds of meat. It would be good on fish. It would be good on chicken. It just, it was so good. So I think it's very versatile, which I really liked. And we'll definitely be making that one again. Scalloped potatoes were scalloped potatoes. Wasn't anything spectacular about them, but didn't hate them. Thought they were good, just needed more seasoning. So I'm really, really pleased. This meal as a whole was amazing. The scalloped potatoes and the meat, that beautiful sauce, and moist chocolate cake. That was a wonderful meal together. We just thought it was too much for one video time-wise. So... I hope you enjoyed this recipe or these recipes today. I hope that you'll come back and see us in the future for some more recipes. And I hope that if you haven't subscribed, you would consider doing so and click the buttons. And as always, I really hope you're having a great day.